hello everyone welcome back once again in this video we will look at getting started with web design inside a dreamweaver but before we get started if you haven't subscribed to the channel please make sure you do dreamweaver is a web design and an integrated development environment id application that is used to develop and design websites Dreamweaver includes a code editor that supports syntax highlighting, code completion, real-time syntax checking, and code introspection for gen generating code hints to assist the user in writing code. Dreamweaver, like other HTML audit editors, edits files locally then upload them to the remote web server using FTP, SFTP, or web dev. Dreamweaver CS4 supports the subversion, subversion or version control system. Since the version 5, Dreamweaver supports syntax highlighting for the following code languages or for the following programming languages Action Script, Active Server Pages, ASP. Um, C sharp cascading style sheets CSS a code fusion EDML extensible hypertext markup like language which is XHTML um, XLST HTML Java JavaScript PHP and so on and so forth so to get started if you don't have the Dreamweaver you can download it downloading it you can download it by going to by googling the dreamweaver or typing in adobe adobe dreamweaver but we're not going to do all of that since i've actually got the dreamweaver opened so once you've downloaded and installed it you can open it and you're most likely to be taken to this page here so as you can see i've got a newly opened dreamweaver and before we get started i will also make it clear that the dreamweaver is a paid software so it's, it's either you can pay it monthly or yearly or you can use the seven days trial software just to get your hands around it and if you're a student you could get it for free or if i'm sure up to 60 percent discount so let's get to it so once you open a blank dreamweaver you get this bit here so to get started you can click on the file bit here and you get a pop-up here so here you can add new item so as you can see you can also use the control n so once you click on that on that so once you click on that you get a new document dialog open here so from here you can add a start template you can add a site template or you can add a new document here so on the new document side here you can you'll be able to add an html file css less javascript json php html template php template and so on and so forth yeah so on the next bit here you can you can also add a starter project in this case we have a basic website with the basic layout so here we've got basic multi-column basic simple grid basic single page and you've got the bootstrap templates so here you can add a template for an agency a template for an e-commerce website template for a portfolio website for a product page for a real estate for for resume and you can also get an email template here so here you can get a basic email template a fluid a hybrid and a responsive email template here you can also have a, st a responsive status so you can get an about page the blog post and an e-commerce page so in this case we got we look at the, the basic layouts here and select a multi-column or, or sim simple grid or a single page so we're just going to look at the basic single page here so so once you, you select that bit here you can um you can click on the create so 
So this is what happened once you open a new simple website project here. Yeah? So you get this dialog displaying the bootstrap 4 support here. Yeah? So with the native support for the bootstrap 4 in Dreamweaver, you can now take advantage of the most popular CSS framework and produce beautiful responsive sites. So while you can switch the boost bootstrap version in site preference, Dreamweaver automatically detects the version based on the bootstrap.css file you can include and you can you can jump start your design by using any of the starter templates that have been updated to support the bootstrap 4. so here this actually comes up th this comes with a a very simple website page there so this is the html source and then it's, it's also created um, a css for the design yeah so you get a css that comes with it here so so it looks like you do not have any you do not have any site to find site lets you manage all of your code and assets from your central location so here you can set up by selecting set up site so here you can actually choose the location where you want your site to be and the name of your site so this bit here we're just gonna make it hello world so it's, uh, we're just gonna leave it at the, the default. Uh, this bit at the default location. We're not gonna make any any a lot of changes in that. So we're just gonna leave it at this bit here. So now we wait for the for the whole thing to set up. So now we've actually got this bit created here. So we've got um, it's like we've got a folder created with the necessary files inside it here. So we can also open this bit here in the browser. So we can s select the browser. So here we can select what type of browser that we want to use. So and here we can select wh whatever we want to preview it. So we've selected the real time preview and um, Microsoft Edge. So now we can apply it. We can apply the changes and we can close this bit here. So it's one, one thing that, so if you want to view the, the design, you can come to the view side here. So here we can actually select the view mode that we want. So we can select the live. So this will actually show the live design. Of, of the code or the HTML CSS code that we've actually we actually have from 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 the template right and we can also come to the view and view it in a split way so it's either the code in the design or the code live so here we have we've got the code at the bottom And then the design on top here. So once we scroll down here, we can we can do a lot to affect the changes that we want to make, or we can even remove a whole bit of the code, and we have a very immediate effect. So here we we've got this 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 part of the code actually updated. So this is how we have the live code in between the design and the code. Yeah, I mean the live. I mean live display in between the code and the design so you can now you can go back to the full code by clicking on this bit here the code here so you can view the code and make whatever changes that you want to make so as you can see here it's not very difficult but yeah so with with the dreamweaver you can get your sites up and running faster with star templates the one that we've actually looked at that you can customize to build HTML emails, about pages, blog, e-commerce pages, newsletter, and portfolios. 
and because Dreamweaver is a part of the creative cloud, you can quickly bring in assets from your libraries and Adobe Stock to enhance your site. So now that I've actually shown you a bit to get in started, you can go on and build your stunning websites and stunning e-commerce websites and whatnot. So I hope this actually helped you in terms of getting started with Dreamweaver. If so, please make sure you subscribe to the channel because I've got lots of videos coming up and I hope you, you have a lovely day, morning, afternoon. Stay in peace. Stay blessed. Bye-bye.